Okay, this is my proof. I paid for the class with my $50 money order. And he made a copy of it and he get made it. He wrote a receipt out showing uh, the top part is the receipt that he received the um, money order. So he signed it, the receipt, and I signed the receipt. And this is the actual money order or copy of the money order that I gave to him. Today is Thursday, thir February 13th. I still haven't received uh, the $52 allot allotment from my uh, teacher. Normally they send it before uh, you pay for the class so that I don't have to take the $52 out of my personal pocket because I'm on GR, all I get is $221. So I had to take the $52 out of my GR to pay for this money order. So that's because my, my county worker, Lilia Ramirez, she didn't, uh, she didn't do it correctly. She didn't send the money. My teacher uh, here, Jonathan, called her several times, he said. And he faxed her a document. And uh, as soon as she received that document from him, she was supposed to send the money the same day, which was the uh, first day of class, 3rd of February. She didn't send it the first day. He called her several times last week, he said. And now it's today, it's, it's, it's the second week, Thursday that, uh, of the second week. Uh, the money, she still hasn't sent the money. So I just went ahead and paid for the class anyway out of my pocket. So I consider that that's like stealing. You're stealing my money when you do it like that. I'm $50 short. That's actually my laundry money. So. I got to sort of hold off on the laundry now for February until I get reimbursed the $52. But it's important that I pay for this class because if I don't pay for this class, they'll stop all my benefits, they'll, my GR, everything, for not paying for this class. So it's, it's more important for me to just go ahead and just pay for it.